starts now. Good evening. Kern County fire officials say a backup generator may be the reason a Stallion Springs resident is out of their home tonight. Now residents say their backup generators are also posing a safety risk. 23 ABC's Tori Cooper is into Hatchapi, not far from where one resident lost their home yesterday. She has more on what fire officials say may have led to the fire and how residents can do their part to make sure their generator is not posing a risk to the community. Tori. Yes, that's exactly right. Residents here in the Tehachapi and Stallion Springs area say that during the power safety shutoffs, they are heavily relying on their backup generators for food, water, electricity, and more. But fire officials say there are some key tips to remember to ensure your generator is not the source of a wildfire. Many residents in Stallion Springs are without power tonight and are relying on a backup generator. No power, so we have a generator and we're able to power our refrigerator, but we have no central heating and we have small children at home, so it is getting extremely cold in our home and um, it's also pre been pretty hard to keep the generator running and refueling and requires a lot of effort. April Jury of Stallion Springs says her nearby neighbor lived in this home that completely burned down in the thief fire yesterday that also burned seven acres of land and caused many to evacuate. Kern County Fire Crews telling 23 ABC News today that officials determined the thief fire originated outside of the home near the family generator. The official cause of the fire is still undetermined according to officials, but they say the thief fire is an excellent reminder for the community to be cautious when using a generator for power. Right, we don't want to have it inside a home or anywhere near a home where it can, the carbon monoxide could blow inside. Keep it at least 20 feet away from windows and doors. Uh, keep it in an outdoor area. Many residents like Doree say they understand Cal Edison and other power companies are taking fire precautions by shutting off the power during high wind periods in mountain communities. But they say relying on generators is posing the same risk. I think there is an extreme safety concern um, and as we move into colder temperatures, if this continues to happen, people will do what they need to do to get by and I think we're going to be looking at more house fires as was the case yesterday. With more shutoffs expected in the near future, fire officials are warning everyone to make sure they don't overload their power generator Which source. Is, you don't ever want to connect it directly to a, to a power source. Um, you don't want to overload uh, the generator as well. You want to make sure that it's rated uh, for the for the proper amount of electricity that's going to draw from. Residents like Doree feel the power shutoffs have been unnecessary so far. Well, this is the first occurrence where there's actually been wind. The prior two shutoffs, there was very little wind. In the meantime, Doree and her neighbors are coping without hot water, electricity, and more. And they say they just hope that the electricity company would let them know when they plan to restore power to the area so they can plan accordingly. And this is really important because we need to gather supplies and know if we are able to continue to stay in our homes or we need to leave. Like right now, if you look around, there's, there's no wind at all. And um, we've received no notification. Now I reached out to SoCal Edison to see when they expect to lift the power shutoffs from the Stallion Springs into Hatchapi area, and they said there is no estimated time as of right now. But we will continue to keep you updated on all of our social media platforms and our website, trendto23.com, as soon as we learn more information. But for now, in Tehachapi, I'm Tori Cooper for 23ABC News, connecting you.